the camera that looks out in the forward, the one that looks down the middle, and then you've got this one that looks at the driver and outside here, and then you got the other cameras in the mid and in the rear of the, of the, uh, of the bus. Security cameras are just one feature on the new buses that are joining the Clay County District Schools fleet. Rolling in this spring are 100 of these new buses equipped with air conditioning. And this is all about increasing the, the ridership experience for our children, creating safe conditions because in the summer you know it gets hot, and at the same time being able to recruit more bus drivers to, to make certain they come into an organization that truly shows value and care for them. But overall this is, a, this is all about uh, you know increasing the experiences in, in, in Clay County. For the Clay County bus drivers, this is a huge deal. I don't like seeing them sweat. I think it's, you know, important for the young ones, the little kindergartners, first grade, because they get hot. Superintendent Davis says when he came into office three years ago, only 30% of buses had air conditioning. And now, for the first time ever, all 240 Clay County buses will have AC. We will have the newest fleet in the state of Florida, and it just signifies that we truly care, and this is important to us, and uh, every experience, whether it's in the classroom or outside of the classroom, it truly matters in Clay County District Schools. The safer and cooler conditions will also work as a recruiting tool for Clay County to garner more drivers. AC buses are very important, not only for the drivers, because we're on there mo most likely longer than the children are, but it creates a better environment for the students. As the weather warms up, Clay County drivers and students won't have to sweat their ride to school anymore. The biggest thing is this, we want to get our children to school and we want to get them to school on time and get them to school safely. For Clay County District Schools, Nicole Young.